Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag for you. Um, I know all you new mamas and parents out there, you're kind of wondering what are things I'm going to need with me. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through things I always have, things I make sure to keep stocked in there, and what makes my life easier. I will begin by saying that I do have the fawn diaper bag in black with gold zippers. I'm sure you've seen them. They're super popular. You guys, this is a beautiful bag. I I absolutely love it. My husband splurged and got this for me way before my daughter was born, and I, I love it so much. It's everything. Um, it does. It's a backpack, which I love. I'm somebody who like my neck always hurts me um, when I'm carrying a heavy bag on just one shoulder. So having a backpack that was kind of cute and stylish was really important. Um, and then it also has a strap, which I don't. Okay, sorry, my battery died. So if it looks a little different, if it looks a little different, that's why. Um, so back to this, it does have two places where you can hook the extra strap on if you do want it to be a crossbody bag. I find that wearing it as a backpack is just easier for me, so that's what I do. The bag, I'm going to kind of show you the inside of it. It's pretty tightly packed. Um, it's not a huge diaper bag, which I really like, um, but I do find that in order for me to have everything I need, it does get pretty full pretty fast. So things I fit in here, um, first and maybe most importantly is my manual breast pump. Um, not everybody uses these or have some, but I find that they are incredibly important to have. Um, I do keep mine a deconstructed just to save on space, um, but these are good to have if you can fit it in your bag and you have one because if you are breastfeeding, there's going to be times where you don't have time to pump or your baby's sleeping and doesn't want to eat and you become engorged, what have you. Get yourself a manual pump. I'm telling you, they will save your life. And then the most obvious is diapers and wipes. I just have a package of Pampers wipes in here. When I first registered, I got myself a plastic wipe holder. Hold on. Hey, baby. Here's Ava. Look, hon. Look at baby. <gasps> hi. Say hi. She's not interested. So when I first registered, um, I got myself a plastic wipe holder, which I thought this will be great. It's refillable. It's nice and slim. You guys, the wipes dry out. It holds like 15 wipes. It's really a pain in the butt. Anyway, there are there's plenty in there, and they're you know they're perfect for your diaper bag. I always like to keep five to ten diapers in there. I don't I don't know where I got that number, but I've never ran out. I've always had a little too many, but you know it's better to not run out. I I also keep a changing pad in there, which. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but I definitely think it's worth it, um, especially if you're going to a public restroom and you have to change them. Those plastic things are probably so disgusting, but sometimes you don't have a choice and this thing, these come in handy. And then also wipes, I have these Pure and Clean Everything wipes. Which you guys, these, you know, some people might think this is just a little excessive to have, but I basically use these, you know, when there are, when I do have to clean off that pad or if I do go in a public restroom, I'm able to just wipe down that plastic thing. Um, they're basically wipes to sterilize anything, you know, not to, you know, wipe baby with or anything, but it'll clean anything else that might get dirty. And I always have in my bag is these two items, burp cloth and a bib. If I know I'm going to be gone for a while, several hours, I'll usually bring two or three burp cloths. My baby spits up a lot, um, so it's, you know, it's always good to be safe. And then I always have a bib also, you know, if there are days where she's drooling a lot or spitting up, it's nice to just be able to throw one of these on her. Um, you always want to have a change of clothes in your diaper bag. Um, I just, for the sake of this video, I just have a onesie in here. I always have an extra onesie, but I'll usually also have pants and possibly, 
be okay. And possibly a pair of pajamas as well. Babies have blowouts for like the first six months. So it's good to just have them. Um, so extra outfit. Oh, and going back to pumping. I've made this mistake before. I'll bring just this with me. And it has the bottle, but then I'll have nowhere to put the milk afterwards. So I always bring a capped nipple and if I know Ava's going to use, um, you know, use the bottle or I'll just have a top with me also. So those are always in there. Um, my daughter does use a pacifier, so I always have an extra one with me. They're so easy to get lost or get dropped on the floor and dirty, whatever. So I always have that with me, and I do have it connected to one of these um, clips that attaches to her clothes. This one in particular she likes because she's teething right now, and these rings are kind of soft and chewy. I got these off Amazon, so I'll link them below. I really, really recommend these. She likes them. Um, and then also I have this baggie. It's kind of just like a collection of health things. Um, but I do keep them separate because they're small and I want to, you know, if I do need something in here, I usually need it fast. So I keep, I have these little, um, temperature strips, which I've yet to have to use. I don't know if you can see that, but just so that if, you know, we're out and she's sick, I need to take her temperature really fast. I have these. I always have a teether for her. She's teething right now. She started at four months and it seems like it has not stopped at all. So I always have an extra teether. And then I do keep a washcloth with me also. I know I have burp cloths and the bib and everything, but it's nice to have a washcloth just in the event that you need to get something wet. It's a little easier um, to clean them off with one of these. Next, I always keep with me, I haven't, luckily I've not had to use this, but I always keep with me acetaminophen and a dropper. Um, you never know if baby's going to spike a fever or something's going to be hurting them and you're out. And I have been places without it and needed it and so it's just better to keep some with you. And lastly in my, in this little bag is my A&D cream. Which, if you guys watched my um, first video with newborn mustaches, you know that I swear by this stuff. It's so good for just moisturizing their skin. If there's a diaper rash, it's also a first aid ointment. So, you know, if something does happen, a burn, a cut, or, you know, I don't know why any of those things would happen to your baby. But if, there, if that did happen, you have this, you know, it kind of does everything. And it's, you know, it's a nice and small tube, so it fits really well. These are um, just some pads for inside my bra, which I rarely have to use anymore. If you are breastfeeding, you're going to leak for a while until your breasts become more, you know, regulated as far as milk flow. But these are always really good to have, you know, in case you do start leaking and you're out and whatever. So, and they're small, they're portable, they're easy to keep. So I keep those in there as well. Um, there are four pockets inside this bag, which I love. I I love having things organized and making sure there's a place for everything. I don't know if you can see those pockets in there, but there's two on the front and two on the side. So I do fit things in there um, a little differently. I keep the wipes and the diapers and the changing pad in the main area. And then I'll usually keep our, you know, linens, extra clothes on the inside pockets along with this baggie goes on an inside pocket. This bag also serves as my purse. There's no way I'm gonna carry a purse and a diaper bag. So um, just really quickly what I keep for myself, I have a really small wallet. Um, it has all my cards in it. This goes right on the inside. I kind of made the big inside pocket here my pocket, the mommy pocket, if you can see that. So that's where my wallet is, and then I keep, um, I always have chapstick, lots of chapstick, and then lipstick, really anything, just some Tylenol things for me. And then there's a zipper on the front, and that's where I keep my changing pads. So let me put those away really quick. Oh, <laughs> aren't these the cutest? These are Ava's sunglasses. She barely keeps them on anymore, but I love them. They're Minnie Mouse, but I do keep these in the bag. So there's also three pockets on the outside. 
with a zipper in the front. I don't usually keep much in the front zipper unless it's like something that's random that we have to add. Um, whew, sorry, I have to adjust. But I always put my cell phone in this front pocket here. It fits perfectly. It never falls out. It's really deep so it's not sticking out or anything for people to see. And then one of the side pockets is always empty. It's I'll usually stick a bottle in it if I'm taking one that's already made up. But then my other side pocket is I always have hand lotion. I always have hand sanitizer. I stock up on these little hand sanitizers from Bath and Body Works. You just you just need it with a baby. So I always keep that in there and that's it. Um, I'll go ahead and lay everything out so that you can kind of see everything that I am able to fit in this bag. Um, but I have to say, here you go. If you guys want a closer look at this, you guys, this is, it's such a beautiful bag. It's so soft and it's made so well. Um, I am really hard on my things. It's stayed so nice um, and I just love it. And it comes in a ton of colors. So I would check that out. I'll link it down below. I'm not partnered with Fawn Design or anything. Um, so I am just recommending it because I love it that much. All right, there you guys go. That's everything I keep in my diaper bag. So I know maybe it doesn't look like a lot to you, um, but that's a that's a pretty thick stack of diapers there. So you can get it um, get everything in there really well. So there you go. I'll put a list down below also if it's easier for you to just view a list of everything that I think that you need and you should keep with you. Alright guys, so that is everything for what's in my diaper bag video. I hope you liked it. I hope it helps give you guys some ideas on what you might need to pack for your diaper bag. Look. Say hi. <gasps> look Ava. Look. Camera. <gasps> Say please like this video. Please like this video. But give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to follow me um, and just kind of see my journey through motherhood. And if you do subscribe, make sure to turn on that bell notification so that you do get alerted when new videos are posted. Thank you. See you later.